Recently, ChatGPT was released. This is an AI chatbot developed by OpenAI that specializes in dialogue. Its goal is to make AI systems more natural to interact with, but it can also help you when writing code. You can make ChatGPT your coding assistant or even go beyond that. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to write Python code to solve some coding tasks, such as plotting graphs, sending emails and messages, and doing web scraping in just a couple of seconds. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, I'd like to thank Medium for supporting me as a content creator. Medium is a platform where you can find Python tutorials, data science guides, and more. You can get unlimited access to every guide on Medium for $5 a month using the link in the description. Okay, now we're on the ChatGPT website. And as you can see here, ChatGPT is optimized for dialogue. So you can ask something like explain quantum computing in simple terms, or you can ask ChatGPT to write an essay for you. But in this video, we're going to test ChatGPT solving some coding tasks. So for example, we can ask ChatGPT to do things like send an email using Python or any other program language. You only have to go here to this box and write whatever you want. So in this case, just to start with something very simple, I'm going to say plot a linear regression. And here you can be very specific and say the programming language you want to use. I'm going to say with Python. And you can be more specific by writing the library. If you don't write the library, uh, ChatGPT is going to choose any library, but I'm going to specify this one. So I'm going to say using matplotlib. So I'm going to press enter. And now ChatGPT is going to read this and it's going to interpret what I'm uh, requesting. So it's going to plot a linear regression using Python and the library matplotlib. And now it takes a couple of seconds and Finally, it understood. So it says to plot a linear regression with Python, you can use a scatter or you can use uh, this, uh, this module. And well, now it's doing all of this. It's writing the code and it's even uh, writing some comments. So first it's generating some fake data and then it's feeding this uh, linear regression to the data. I'm not doing anything. And at the end of this, uh, when ChatGPT finishes doing this, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this on Jupyter Notebook to test if everything is correct. So now we have uh, some, some suggestions by ChatGPT. This will generate a scatter plot, but it's giving an alternative. So here we can have another way to do this, but I don't, I don't care about that. I'm going to copy this because I believe with this is enough. So I'm going to copy and as you can see, it gives you not only the code, but some nice comments here, comments and here explanation about what it's doing. So it's not only about the, the code, but it also gives you some explanation. So now I copied this, I'm going to paste it and I'm going to check if this is correct. So here it says that uh, I don't have uh, the module SciPy, so I'm going to install it here. Okay, I've just installed SciPy, and now let's see if it does the job. And now as we can see, this gave an error. So fortunately, ChatGPT gave us an alternative. So here it says, alternatively, you can use this other option. So I'm going to copy this. And actually, when I tested this before, this was the only alternative. So I'm going to copy and paste this one. And as you can see, now we got this uh, this linear regression and well, we generated this using chat GPT. So fortunately we have here two options. All right, now let's continue testing this and now let's try something else. So let's try sending a message on WhatsApp using Python. And to do this, we need a third party library named PyWatKit. So I'm going to say something like this, send a message on WhatsApp using Python and PyWatKit. So let's see if this AI recognizes this PyWatKit. It's not so popular, this library. So let's test this out. So I'm saying send a message on WhatsApp using Python and PyWatKit. You can add more detail like uh, adding the your phone number, but obviously in this video, I'm not going to show my phone number. So you can test it out on your on. And now we see that ChatGPT is writing the code to send a message using PyWatKit. So we see all the code. 
this will schedule the message to be sent at a specified time. So we have to specify here the hour and the minute. We have 12.30 by default, but we can change it. Uh, note that you need to install PywatKit, of course, this is the module, and have a working internet connection. You also need to have the latest version of Chrome, yeah, uh, installed on your computer. And I know all of this because I have a tutorial on how to send a message on WhatsApp using Python and using this library. So I know that this is correct. So you can copy this, actually, and you can paste it on uh, PyCharm, for example. Here you can write your number or the number of anybody. You have to install this library, write here the message you want, and that's it. You can send the message on WhatsApp. I'm gonna show you here uh, the example I did in the previous tutorial when I wrote the code on my own, but of course here it's with this uh, AI chat GPT. Okay, now let's go back here and let's continue testing. Before here, I wrote send a message on WhatsApp using Python and PyWatKit. But what if now we want to be more specific? Let's try sending an email and now I'm gonna specify the email that is gonna be the sender and the email that is gonna be the receiver. Also the subject for the email and the content that the email has. So that's a lot of details. Let's see if ChatGPT can handle this. So here I'm gonna paste this command that I had before and this is going to help us see if ChatGPT can handle so many details. So here it says, send an email from email one. For example, here I'm going to write my, my own email. This is the email that I'm going to use. And then for the receiver, I'm going to write another email that I have that actually I don't use so often, but I'm going to use for this test. Here I have send an email from my first email that I'm using for this example to my second email with the subject email sent by ChatGPT and the content ChatGPT rocks using Python. So let's press enter and let's test this out. So this is a very, uh, I'm not going to say complex, but I would say it's challenging to understand all of this and to execute that without any mistake. So let's see if this AI can handle all of this. So first it's trying to understand all of the, the request with this uh, explanation. So it says to send an email with a subject, we have to use uh, SMTP lib. And yeah, that's the library uh, that we use to send emails with Python. So now it's writing the code, it's writing comments, the sender, the repeat, the recipient, sorry, then it's uh, connecting to SMTP server. Yeah, we need to do something like that. It's telling us uh, some details and it's adding a note. So note that you need to have a working internet, of course, and a valid email account. Uh, you also need to allow, yeah, this is the note. So you also need to allow less secure apps to access your email account. But it doesn't say anything about that 16 character password. So in the past, you could send emails just uh, allowing less secure apps. But nowadays, or recently, you have to add to a step verification and also create a 16 character password. So uh, ChatGPT doesn't know about that, but I know about that because I have a tutorial on that, but ignoring that, let's see if that works. So here I have the code. And so far I have to say that this looks good. We have the sender, we have the recipient, the subject and the content. So it seems everything is perfect. Just one thing that we have to keep in mind is the password. So here for the sake of this video, I'm going to hide my password in this email underscore password variable. I'm going to uh, delete my password that was in quotes and I'm going to write this variable. So now let's test this out. I'm going to run this and see what happens. So we have process finished with exit code zero. So apparently everything was successful. And now I'm going to check my email. Okay, I log into my email. And as you can see here, I have a new email that says email sent by chat GPT. And the content is chat GPT rocks. And well, as you can see, I also did a test uh, like three hours before this one. And we can see that everything worked successfully and we didn't have to write all of this code, but ChatGPT did it for us. And this is just awesome. So now let's do something more challenging. Now let's try to scrape a website with ChatGPT. So I'm going to give a, a task to ChatGPT, something like this. So web scrape, and then I'm going to write the link of a website. So I'm going to use this website here 
books to scrape.com and then I'm gonna say using Python force and here we can specify the library or you can leave it as is. In this case, I'm gonna say and beautiful soup. So beautiful soup is a Python library that allows us to scrape websites. I'm gonna scrape this website and before I press enter, let's have a look to this website. So this is the website books to scrape.com and we're gonna scrape maybe the title or the prices. I'm not gonna specify what data I want from this website, but I'm gonna let ChatGPT figure this out on its own. So I'm gonna press enter and let's see what this AI does. So sometimes it takes more than a couple of seconds, but you have to be patient because some tasks are very challenging. So this is very good. Uh, I think it successfully extracted the price. We can see here that we have the price and also the title. So it's printing the title and also the price. So here it didn't export the data. I know that because it's not exporting a TXT file or a CSV file, but only printing. But in the previous test I did, it exported a file with all the data. In this case, I'm gonna leave it as is. So I'm going back here to PyCharm, copy and paste it. And let's see if this works smoothly. So here I run this and here we have the price, sorry, the title first and then the price. So let's verify if this is correct. So here we have a light in the attic, 51.77. I think this is, this is the symbol of pounds. And yeah, we have this. And then tipping the velvet, 53.74. And yeah, so we successfully scraped all of this data using uh, actually chat GPT. I mean, we can say we used beautiful soup, but we didn't write the code. Chat GPT did all on its own. And this is awesome. So as I said before, you can give more instructions to this AI. So you can tell this AI to, to export this in a TXT file, in a CSV file, or maybe to scrape more websites, because this is a very simple website. Maybe you can tell ChatGPT to scrape Amazon or any other website. I don't know how it will go because I didn't test that out. I just did some simple test, but you can test that on your own and write what you think about this AI on the comment section below.